Hi guys, it's Kaylee. Um, today I'm going to film a pink e-girl look. Uh, yeah, enjoy. Subscribe if you like it. We're going to start with this Clinique sunscreen. Uh, it's SPF 30. It's not super sunny out today, but always important to get all those rays off your skin so you don't get wrinkly. It's the key. Next step is foundation. Um, I'm gonna use two different ones. I'm gonna use this Revlon Photo Ready Candid in 120 and this MAC Studio Fix in NW18. And I usually just mix it on the back of my hand. If I can get it out of the tube. There we go. So then I just mix it on the back of my hand with my fingers like this. And then usually just put that on roughly, because we're gonna blend it out with a beauty blender in just a minute. You know, some people put on their foundation after they do their eyes. I like to do it before and then just touch up if I have any fallout beneath. Um, this also works okay because I don't really use concealer, so it just kind of, I don't know, it's just preference. Okay, once that's done, you can do some contouring. Um, I'm using this Oprah one. It's a versatile matte. And then using this brush, which is a Firma 103 brush. I'm really just like Focusing on carving out the cheekbones because I have cheeks, but my cheekbones don't show very much. And I also do just a dab on the sides of my nose. Up on my head, kind of in my hairline. It also kind of helps blend out the foundation that didn't really blend in with the beauty blend right there. And under the chin. Okay, and then next is blush. I'm gonna use this Tarte Amazonian Clay in Party Dress. I'm just gonna do like a tiny bit because we're gonna go back and make it a little more intense. Um, and then I'm also going to put on highlighter and I'm using Shayna B Miami and Guava Glow. I'm also gonna leave that open because we're gonna go back to that later. Um, next we can start on eyes. I like to do eyes before I do my eyebrows just because it kind of, um, if the eye is like particularly intense, then I like to kind of make my eyebrows a little more intense to match. Um, I'm going to use 
the Morphe Times Jeffree Star palette. And we're gonna start by dipping into Self Made and Pink Fleet, these two. I'm just going to focus that on the crease. Oh yeah, we're looking intense. <laughs> um, I'm also going to dip into Don't Know Her, which is this pink sparkly shade right here. And pop that on the outer corner. I'm probably going to go in with my finger in just a second because I've noticed that most shimmer eyeshadows hold a lot better when you use your finger. as opposed to a brush. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna dip into Mogul, which is this purple shade right here. I'm gonna concentrate that on the outer corner as well. Okay, that looks pretty good so far. Next, I'm gonna grab this Farrah brush in 35E, and I'm gonna dip into Mr. Diva and Boss Angeles, which are these two shades right here. And just kind of blend out the edges a little bit, make it a little orangey. Um, next I'm going to grab this Firma 204 brush, and I'm going to grab Mogul again, which is that deep purple shade. I'm going to drag it underneath the eye. Okay, and now um, I'm going to dip into don't know her, which is the pink uh, shimmery shade right here, and Dog Mom, which is this kind of peachy shimmery shade. Um, and I'm going to do that with my finger. Um, so Don't Know Her is going all over the lid, and then Dog Mom is going to go in the inner corner. Okay, so my eyes are almost done. Now is the really fun part for me where I'm gonna add a little more blush, but I'm gonna use it, the eyeshadow palette for it so it matches. So we're gonna use Self Made and Pink Fleet, so these two right here. And I'm using those on a Lisa Frank brush. Um, I don't know what number this is, but it's cute. I'm also going to dip into Mogul just a little bit and then tap off the excess. The thing I really like about the e-girl looks is that you can just go ham with blush. I'm a big blush fan so I really enjoy it and I think it looks really cool when it blends into your eye makeup.
So I'm focusing that on the top of the cheekbones. A little bit on the nose. You're looking pretty, pretty pink. <laughs> okay, next, um, I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit with this um, It Cosmetics number 206 foundation brush. And that's just really to make sure all those edges are like nice and diffused. Okay, we are looking pretty good. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Um, I'm going in with this Scone Brow Wand in Chocolate. And first I just brush them out. And then I fill in the tails. Um, I tend to not fill in the front part because it makes it look a little harsh on my face, which I mean is obviously personal preference too. Okay, once the tails are filled in, I just brush through them real quick again. And then hit it with the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is like a little sample one that I got in an Ipsy bag that I really like. Um, I'm not sure what color this is. I think it's just the dark brown one. Brows check. Um, next, I'm going to open up the palette once again and I'm going to use Fast Lane, which is the black. And I'm just going to make um, an outline on my eyes. So I do this instead of using eyeliner. Um, I just found that it is a little less harsh. And then if I fuck it up, it doesn't look as bad. easy. I think the main reason I like it is because when I use um, like liquid eyeliner pens I tend to drag it across my eye instead of like making a smooth line and so it makes a lot of like waves on the top which aren't super attractive. And I'm not really a big fan of those. Um, now I'm gonna go back in with the highlighter a bit more of that shit on. Really blind people that are outside walking past my house because we're in quarantine. 
Um, next, I'm going to use this Tarte Tardius Lip Paint in OG. And lastly, I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, um, the regular one, and also the waterproof one. I noticed the waterproof one's a lot easier to get off if you put the first one down as a base coat. It's almost like a mascara primer. poked myself in the eye. <laughs> okay, and we're done. This is the finished pink e-girl look. Eyes. Lips are kind of subtle. I don't really have a lot of bright lipsticks right now, um, but yeah. So if you enjoyed it, subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll try to make more. Bye.